Over the years, there have been many bold explorers who set out into the unknown and prohibited, but tragically, not all have returned to tell the tale. Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. My name is Kennedy, and today we are going to be counting down some of the most mysterious disappearances surrounding explorers. Let's get into it. Starting us off at number 10, we have Kenny Veach. So several years ago, Kenny Veach was a YouTuber and an urban explorer who enjoyed documenting his adventures and sharing with his followers. Usually he would hike and explore caves or ruins, but sadly one expedition in 2014 was his last. Before his disappearance, he had posted to his channel about a strange cave that he had come across in the desert explaining that when he approached it, he got a strange vibrating sensation all over his body and was filled with a bad feeling about what was inside. So he didn't explore any further. But after his followers begged him to go back and try again, Kenny obliged. On November 10th, 2014, Kenny told his family he was on a trip into the mountains of Nevada, but when Kenny didn't return, loved ones began to worry. However, since the desert is so big and filled with caves, it was hard to figure out what cave Kenny had gone in to explore. Sadly, he was never found, and the truth surrounding his disappearance remains a mystery to this day. Moving on to number nine, Everett Roos. Born in 1914, a writer and an artist turned explorer. Roos entered into the explorer game when he was just 16 and spent the next four years drifting through the most remote parts of Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah, selling off paintings to pay for his way. He explored the Colorado Plateau, the High Sierra, Yosemite, and Sequoia National Park, and remained in communication by letter, if not a little infrequently, with his parents. That was until 1934. Having told his parents he would not be reachable for the next two months, Everett set out on what would turn out to be his last journey. Last seen alone and heading into the Utah desert with two donkeys as pack animals, after four months passed, his parents began to worry that they may never see their son again. And tragically, they didn't. Now, while we can assume he has died at this point because he would be 109 if he was still alive, nobody has ever been able to track down his remains, and so the mystery of where he disappeared to remains as big now as it did in 1934. Next up at number 8, Naomi Umura. Prior to their mysterious disappearance, Naomi completed many amazing feats during his lifetime, including climbing the highest mountain on each of the world's continents solo, trekking across the Arctic to become the first person to reach the North Pole solo, rafting down the Amazon, and being a part of the first Japanese team to scale Mount Everest. But strangely, in 1984, while exploring Mount McKinley in Alaska, he vanished and was never seen again. His goal was to become the person to achieve a solo winter climb up the treacherous peak. And while there is reason to believe that Naomi reached the peak, he never made it off the mountain at least that we know of. Following the incident, rescue parties searched for the explorer, but all that was ever found was some equipment and his diary. Neither him or any remains to prove his death have ever been recovered. Moving on to number seven, Daniel Lynn Lagerlof. Once upon a time, Daniel Lynn Lagerlof was one of the most acclaimed directors and writers in Sweden. But his rise to stardom all came to a crashing halt in 2011 when Daniel was out scouting locations for a new thriller project and disappeared forever. Last anyone knew, Daniel had gone to the beautiful nature reserve of Chopinan, a remote island, all by himself. Now why he went all by himself, no one really knows, but according to his friends, he was simply going off to explore the island and plan to return. But tragically, he never did. To this day, his whereabouts are still a mystery as no remains have ever been found and no one can safely confirm what actually happened to him. There is one theory that he slipped and fell into the water, but again, as investigations have never been able to recover a body or any sign of his remains, we can't see for sure what happened to Daniel. Moving on to number six, Peng Jiamu. Potentially one of the 
better known modern explorers. Due to the unfortunate circumstances surrounding his last exploration, Peng Jiamu was a Chinese biologist that was well known for his dangerous expeditions. He began his travels in the late 1950s, participating in multiple scientific expeditions. But it was the 1980 expedition where he led a team of biologists, geologists, and archaeologists that will remain a giant mystery. Everything seemed normal the first few days, but several days into the journey, he left a note saying he was going to find water. But strangely, he never returned. The Chinese government launched a massive search of the desert, but no sign of Peng was ever found. According to those familiar with the dangers of the area, the famed biologist was most likely buried alive by a freak sandstorm or crushed by an avalanche of loose soil. But while as many as six skeletons have been recovered from nearby areas since his disappearance, none have been proven to be Peng. Moving on to number five, Park Young Suk. Once a legendary South Korean climber, Young Suk had set records across the globe, his achievements including becoming the first person to complete the adventure's Grand Slam by climbing the 14 highest Himalayas, the highest mountain on each continent, and reaching the North and South Poles. Plus, he also pioneered the new line on the southern face of Everest in 2009. Which is to say, he knew what the hell he was doing. However, that is why it was all the more mysterious when he disappeared. In 2011, while he and two companions were trying a new route on Annapurna, he radioed over to his base camp on October 18th, stating his intention to return to base camp following a gale and rock slide. But that would be the last any anyone heard from him, as he never arrived at the camp, nor did any of his team. To this day, no trace of his or his team's remains have ever been found. Moving on to number 4. Mystery Man. Now, I'm sure you have heard about this story before, and while some say it's an urban legend, the truth is no one actually knows if it's real or not. That being said, back in the 1990s, a group of people exploring the Paris catacombs came across an abandoned camcorder and decided to have a look and see what could be on it. But what they found was beyond disturbing. The video was of an unidentified male explorer wandering around the catacombs, but then suddenly he becomes spooked by something that we cannot see and begins to speed up through the dark tunnels trying to escape whatever it is. As the footage continues, his breathing gets more and more labored and he runs faster and faster until finally he drops the camera into a puddle with a splash and runs off into the distance. Who was this urban explorer? Where did he go? Is he still trapped inside the catacombs? Is this videotape even real? These are all questions that no one seems to be able to answer. Moving on to number three. Percy Fawcett. By 1925, Percy Fawcett had already made quite a name for himself in the world of explorers, but he still had one place left to explore on his bucket list. The only problem was it was risky. You see, he had this theory about a lost and abandoned city named Z, which he believed existed somewhere in the Mato Grosso region of Brazil. So in 1925, Percy, his eldest son Jack, and a friend named Rayleigh Rimmel set off to explore the fabled lost city. But strangely, not long after their announcement of their newest adventure, the group vanished without a trace and were never seen again. Some theories suggest that on their way to the lost city, they were killed by a hostile tribe. Others speculate that they could have been attacked by a pack of wild jaguars. Most interestingly, there are some out there who believe they actually found the lost city and simply lived out the rest of their lives there, while others speculate that they simply died of disease or starvation. However, either way, the truth is no one knows what happened to them, if they ever reached the lost city, or where their remains could be. In the years after Fawcett vanished, thousands of would-be adventurers mounted rescue missions, and as many as a hundred people eventually died searching for them. So searches were eventually called off, and the mystery of what happened to Percy Fawcett remains to this day. Moving on to number two, Roald Amundsen. The year was 1928, when celebrity explorer Roald Amundsen vanished into thin air and was never to be seen again. Roald had become a world-famous face after his 1911 expedition, where he succeeded 
successfully reached the South Pole, and from that point forward, he was considered one of the greatest explorers to have ever lived. So imagine everyone's surprise when he went missing on a trip far less dangerous than any of his previous missions. The day was June 18th, 1928, and believe it or not, it was not his own mission he disappeared on, but on a rescue trip for an already missing person. Along with a crew of five, Rold boarded the rescue flight and headed for the crew that had crashed while returning from the North Pole. But neither Rold, his crew, or his aircraft were ever seen again. Due to his popularity, a search for the team began nearly immediately, but after no evidence of a crash and no bodies were found, it was called off. Years later, in 2004 and 2009, the Norwegian Navy attempted to search for the wreckage of the mysterious disappearing aircraft, but they too never uncovered a single piece of evidence, and whatever happened to Roald Amundsen remains a mystery to this day. And last up in our number one spot. Masha. So we've talked about mysterious disappearances in the Paris catacombs, but they aren't the only catacombs in the world. And in fact, it's believed that an even scarier disappearance happened in the city of Odessa, Ukraine. On New Year's Eve in 2005, Masha and a group of friends went to visit the catacombs to explore. The group was young and looking for an adventure, but they had also been drinking and so unfortunately did not have their wits about them. However, when they arrived, they all felt a bit too nervous to enter, so they sat near the entrance and continued to drink. At one point, Masha told the group that she had to pee, so she ventured a little deep into the tunnels for some privacy. A while later, the group was ready to go home, but as they had been drinking, they forgot Masha had left the group to go pee and assumed she'd gone home. So. They left. However, Masha was still inside, but alone and disoriented, she continued to bury herself deeper and deeper in the mines until she had no idea how to escape. Fast forward six months, and a group of urban explorers were venturing into one of the most unexplored areas when they came across the body of a woman. Initially, it was thought to be Masha, but strangely, no one has ever been able to confirm for certain. So either Masha's remains are still a mystery or what they found was another missing explorer. Well, that's all I got for you today, friends. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on all of the most amazing newest content. And before you go, let me know down in the comments, would you ever try your hand at exploring abandoned or dangerous spots? I'll be honest, I'm not sure it's for me. Well, with that, I'm off. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time.